What's up, everybody? Do right back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Raider now because they just released a, another briefing. This one is called Briefing 46 Devil Introspective Farm. I'm guessing that this is going to look into the inspiration behind it. Actually, underneath this, it does say Map Inspiration. So, yeah, it starts off with saying, uh, Attention, officers, welcome to our 46 newsletter. Starting with this newsletter and several of the following bi weekly newsletters, we'll be looking at some real life events that have impacted and shaped the design of both the game and the locations that make Los Sunas feel like a living and breathing world unfortunately there are many many events that for one reason or another have been required to be solved by the tactical expertise of a singular or many SWAT teams whether the response was a genuinely evil organization or person slow escalation of a hostage situation robberies gone wrong or the absolute worst a situation that ultimately involves reasonably innocent individuals placed in extreme situations a tragedy very recently one of our artists Rapolio the guy that made this took a trip down to the site of the Waco Siege and took a veritable mountain of incredible photos. For those who are unaware, in short, the Waco Siege was a police action that majorly included the BATF and FBI responding to the serving of a search warrant to the Branch Davidians at their company near Elk, Texas, resulting in the deaths of four law enforcement officers and 82 civilians. Wow. I gotta be honest, I've never actually read the situation of the Waco Siege. I've always heard about it in a bunch of like stories and I think in SWAT 4 too, but never thought to look into it. Maybe I will after this video. Please note the above description of the Waco Siege is an extremely simplified version of a still discussed and highly disputed event. As such, if this is something you should like to read into, there are many sources to do so. Uh -huh. An artist's impression. We pulled onto the EE Ranch Road. It was pretty bumpy from all the divs and potholes. The Black Iron Gate was open, with a sign asking for a $10 donation for a visitor. A memorial just past the gates is dedicated to the 76 men, women, and children who had died in the fire caused by the siege. Oh wow. Aside from the foundation remnants, the only original remains of the compound is the 70 foot long swimming pool at the rear of the site, the unfinished storm shelter just to the left, and the buried bus used as a tunnel between the compound and the storm shelter, now lying partially unburied like an old mangled soda can, completely unrecognizable from a school bus, with the entire surrounding area overgrown with weeds and foliage. So we got our first picture here. This is, I think they said this is the basement? I mean, that's what it kind of looks like. It's kind of on a hill right here and the house will be on top but you know it's burned down and I think this is concrete, right? Yeah, concrete metal pole sticking out. Underneath the picture, it says, The remains of the Mount Caramel Center bunker, the compound that the Branch Davidians had built and used up to that fateful day. Another picture under this shows that mangled up bus. Wow, that is, wow, holy cow. What the heck even happened to this thing? Like, compare this to the shadow right here. Look at how small this bus is. This is supposed to be a bus. Wow. Unless, like, the rest of it is just all the way like underground it's kind of crazy it looks like a wasteland sort of thing but anyways underneath this it says the remains of the bus tunnel yeah I, th I think this is like the back side of it sticking out but moving on here concrete slabs of the original foundation line the left side of the church marking where the old gymnasium and foyer once stood I'm walking into the pool i stepped down to examine david koresh's leader of the branch davidians signature in the cement of the pool when it was first constructed in 1992 dk 92 probably with a barely visible Star David below. A concrete slab with some dog paw prints was also located beside the pool. It matched the age of the rest of the concrete, so I assume it belonged to the Branch Davidian's dogs, who were shot by the ATF on the first day of the siege. Wait, the first day? How many days? Oh my god, how many days did this last? I need to look at this. Yeah, look this up. Between the pool and the storm shelter is the remains of the water tower, now just a rusted pipe surrounded by concrete. So underneath this is another picture here of the pool, it looks like. I'm trying to see if I could see that um, Star of David thing here, but I can't tell where it is. I think that's the paw print, but I could be wrong. Underneath this, it says the Branch Davidian compound pool with a portion of the church visible in the background. So I guess there's a church on the property. We stepped into the church, which had been partially converted into a museum of sorts. Various pictures of the ATF and FBI posing in uniform in front of the burnout compound sat alongside banners describing Koersh's prophecies along the walls, as well as information about the original founders of the Seventh-day Adventists. The experience overall gave an interesting insight into the branch Davidson side of the story. So, oh my god, that's a big building. Wow, damn, that is a massive way. So, is this like a. Oh man, I need to just look up this freaking story. I would talk about it in this video, but this video is supposed to be about the update, I guess. That's really interesting, but that's kind of crazy. So, they put the photo right here, and I guess there's like a bridge right there. This kind of looks like a school to me. So, was he like running some sort of school or something? I mean, why would there be like 80 something people there? 
Unless they were trying to hold some sort of mass or something. I don't know. I guess I'll find out when I look it up after this video. But anyways, underneath the photo it says, A photo of the modern day compound transposed by the burning compound. The aftermath of the siege at Waco. What a name for that place too, Waco. Interesting. Editors note, more of Rapolio's beautiful transpositions and photos will be posted and pinned in the Ron Media channel on the Red or Not Public Discord for those interested. In conclusion, this concludes the 46th briefing. Be sure to tune in next time for development news. And yeah, that pretty much does it. Overall, it's another one of those uh, behind the scenes look, which I actually did a video on the first one uh, if you want to look it up i'll just have it linked in the description and uh yeah i don't exactly know what inspiration this is supposed to be exactly um when i thought farm i thought they were talking about the the wine field looking house but this looks like a school to me i'm not too sure what that is then but anyways yeah that's pretty much all i really got to say about that see you in the next one